Good afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. I'm Bonnie Mbuli. <laughs> and I'm Balisa Dembe. Now, the way to the top is never a smooth one, especially for women in male-dominated industries. But no fear, because today on the show, we meet South Africa's leading female motoring journalist and editor, Juliet Maguire, who has gone on to become one of the biggest household names in the motoring industry. And if you've been wondering how I stay looking so fly, well, wonder no more. I'll be sharing some DIY beauty tips with fashion and beauty blogger, Lisa Germanata. And to add to all of that, for today's Fashion Express Thursdays, I've called on stylist and personal shopper Siavuya Dondolo to help us find some fun, sexy and formal ways of rocking the teens. Absolutely now. Plus, we're also giving you the chance to tell us what type of beauty advice or tips you'd like to us to feature on Afternoon Express. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using our official hashtag Afternoon Express or do comment on our Facebook page, please. Now, Clover Mama Africa is all about identifying women who are making a difference in their community and providing them with income generating skills to become self-sustaining. A Clover Mama Africa has passion in her heart, walks with dignity, carries fire in her soul and has a burning love for her community. Now recently we had the privilege of meeting Mama Miriam Tony, who started a Disease Centre that provides a safe haven for young boys and girls who have been abandoned and abused. Determined to change the narrative and their future by teaching these little lives the value of a loving, stable home, Mama and Miriam shared the love and meaning of Fed Cook Day with us. To dish out Marquinhas is the best thing. It's the best meal and it's a quick meal. My name is Miriam Tony and I am the manager of the Disease Center. I was very excited when they selected me as Global Mama Africa. The program focuses on women looking after children and they make sure that we are self-sustainable. They give us trainings, sewing, welding, art and craft, painting and baking. The reason why they do that, they want to make sure that they don't teach us how to eat the fish, but they teach us how to go and fish the fish so that we can come back and teach our communities and our children. Today is the Clover Mama Africa Maguinia Day. It is a great opportunity for me to teach my people how to do the Maguinias. The people are excited because when I give the skill to the people, they will take this back to the community and do the best for their families. It is easy to make the Maguinias because you take your flour and you take your butter, salt and sugar, and you also take your clover olive pride. And I'm so excited because the oil I used to use, it was not the best as what I'm using now. So I'm going to save this to my community. I'll take this to the crash and I'll also serve to my, to my community as they are passing by. The bad experience was when the people were trying to break in and they thought that I have money because I am, I am selling some scones and stuff. It was a shock to me and I've learned that it is very much important when you have a sender, you need to have security. So I have security, the black buckles, I lock them in time, six o'clock sharp, I lock the buckles. If someone come and buy something, I know that I am safe. So being a Clover Mama Africa, you need to make sure that you are secured so that you can live many years. You need to protect your family, protect the people around you. When I look at my people passing by, I can see they are needy. And when I give the Maquinas to them, you can see the way they accept it. And they also call me Mama Kika. I love that the old people when they say Mama Kika, I like your Maquinas. And when I smile, they always say to me, thank you, your smile make me feel happy. <laughs> I think my Maguinas is the best Maguinia because they are round and fluffy. That's why people, they just come in numbers. And especially today, I just give to my community. I don't sell the Maguinas. When you give to a person who need it, you feel great after you're giving. And if you want to make a difference in your community, give with love and you see a difference. So the Club of Mama Africa programs, in every skill that they gave to me, it gave me understanding and they also teach me to share the skill that I have. So what I receive from Clover Mama Africa programs, I give it that back to my community and I can see there's a difference in my community. Most of the people, they were sitting without jobs. 
But today I have mamas who are selling maquinas. I have mamas who are selling scones. And there is a mama who also do art and craft, and she's so happy. Saturdays to go to town and sell stuff. So everything that I'm teaching them, it's making a difference. You teach them how to use their hands. And that's what I am doing as Global Mama Africa. And I'm happy, I'm proud of myself. The passion I have, the love, the sharing, I give my people the best and I always compliment my community because people, they need to be complimented. Sometimes when people just pass by, you just say, you look lovely, you're beautiful. So me, my name is Mama Kika and they know me by saying always Tara when I do something, I feel good. So wherever I go, some people say, Tara, do you have it? I said, I have it. So it is good to share the skill that I have. I want to say to the other mamas, mamas, let's wake up and do it. As long as I have my hands, I can do it. As long as I have my eyes, I can see. I always challenge my people. Come, let's stand and we can make a difference in our South Africa. I love my community. I love Mekwene. I am here to help you, my people. Sara. Yeah. Yeah. What amazingly moving stories. You know, Lo Mama, she reminds me of Oh Mama Basem Laz. Yes. Where yes. I'm from, D section Umlazi. Yeah. That community spirit and feeding our people. It's Absolutely. such a beautiful thing. Especially touch. Amakwinya. Whenever I go back home to Epinville, the first thing I do when I get there, I'm like, Mom, we're going to that house as on four and we're going to buy Amakwinya. And you have to oh arrive early. You have to arrive at like seven Just to, to catch the queue. Yeah, and you love them hot and fresh, Amakwin. Oh. Amakwin, your heart's fresh with that slice of pepper. Mm. or that cheese, so mm. yummy. <laughs> now, speaking of yummy things, uh, we'd like to eat. After the break, we are preparing a spicy bean fajita with Chef Clem. Plus, we meet the charismatic motoring editor of Women's Health magazine, Juliet Maguire. Our guests on Afternoon Express fly domestically with Mango. Enjoy outstanding service, online check-in and seat selection. With the widest booking and payment options, Mango is the only airline globally to accept store charge cards as a means of payment. Fly in comfort with ergonomically efficient seats for more legroom aboard a fleet of new generation Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Join the guests of Afternoon Express and fly Mango.
Welcome back from the ad break. You're tuned into Afternoon Express on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, you want a fajita without the meat? Well, enters halloumi. This firm, flavorsome cheese elevates any meal, delivering on the creaminess of the halloumi and the freshness of cucumber. This is a definite crowd pleaser. It's just the perfect combination of the dairy goodness and the plant-based nutrients. To get the ingredients list and link to the recipe, simply SMS EATS to 33650. SMSs are 1 round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. Chef Clem. Fajita. Fajita. Muy bien, muy bien. Can I tell you something? I can't even take uh, <laughs> responsibility for that because I've been saying Fajita this uh -uh. entire time, but then our amazing girl was like, baby girl, let mm. me help you. It's fajita. Mamacita's so, fajita. <laughs> Mamacita's fajita. fajita. Okay. Right. So this is a great one. So again, we're sticking with this plant-based recipe. We are loving it. This is yeah. a great one. We are maximizing flavor, spice, and texture. Yes. Vouch, because you had some of this for dinner last night, plant-based last night, and how did you feel? Amazing. One thing that I've never been too sure of is having plant-based food, veggies and stuff like that for dinner because I feel like I'm hungry two seconds later. But I've really been taking home each and every meal and I stay fuller for longer. It's a real thing. It's the truth. It's the truth. Like I go to bed so happy, my stomach is full. So these plant-based recipes really do go the distance in terms of fulfilling that nutrients for a longer time. It's good for you and it's good for the planet, by the way. Just to let you know. Hallelujah. You're doing your part. Preach it. You're Tim doing Tim. your part. <laughs> okay, cool. So in here, I've got some tahini paste, which is actually ground up sesame. Very nutty, very delicious. Mm. Then I've got some ground turmeric, crushed turmeric. Okay, We get nice. it fresh now. It's really good. Power fruit. Power exactly. Fruit, so that's yeah. going in there. Then I need a little bit of honey mm. for that bit of sweetness. Yeah. Why am I doing that? I'm going to do that. Come on. But will it come out? Come on, honey, out? yes. Well, I've got Perfect. enough in there already. Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay. Enough in there. <laughs> then I'm going to ask you to drizzle in some olive oil for me. Perfect. How much does it be, matter? Just to kind of make a nice sauce, a nice little okay. dressing to go with our fajitas. Just like that, that's perfect. Perfect. So, okay, perfect. so this is just for the base uh -huh. for the... And you can add a little bit of lemon juice to cut through a little bit of acidity. I got you, my Clem. There we go, done. We'll mix that up in a bit, that's all good. Okay. Now let's talk about these guys over here. So, we are going to add some halloumi cheese. Mm. Okay, it's totally optional, but it's great. It gives you a nice texture with your fajitas that you're making. Yes. So here we go to add a little bit of that to a pan. I love halloumi. Halloumi deep fried, halloumi as is. I I'm love here to it. find someone who doesn't like halloumi. I yeah, also, I yeah. challenge anyone who does not like halloumi, come talk to me and then I'm, I'm <laughs> hopefully I'll, I'll switch them, I'll, I'll turn them, them, I'll convert them, I that's like the that. word, I'll convert put them. Put it aside then, now, Perfect. let's talk about how we're going to put this all together. So, we're going to start off, let's get a nice plate. Let's so, do is a fajita plate. like a taco? It's maybe. like a taco, but it's more kind of open, it's not as hard, it's not as small, yeah. Okay, You're Perfect. almost there, you're almost there, absolutely. Mm. So, where we're going to start. Let's start off with our the beans, base, okay, yeah. beans. So I've got some cannellini beans, they're great. Keep you fuller for longer, like you said, protein, salsa, fiber, really great. Nice. That's gonna go in there, a little sprinkle, sprinkle, just like that. Mm. Cannellini and black beans, because you can't just be committed to one type of bean. Of course, no, no. we like our options, we love variation. There we go. The and they have different flavors, so you're not just like being fancy, it's for a reason. Wow. A little bit of salt, just like that. Okay. Our lumi is doing its thing, so we can keep it doing its thing. A little bit of chili, I've got these pickled jalapenos. Jalapenos. Yes, the jalapenos from yesterday. Oh, okay, going back to our conversation, whether it's jalapenos or jalapenos, I guess it's the same thing, whether it's fajitas and fajitas. That's, in my mind, it's the same it's thing. It's not the same. <laughs> jalapeno. Yeah, let, let, I think, I think, let, let's see the viewers tell us. Yes. Jalapeno, viewers, jalapeno. you guys let us know. Do you say jalapeno or jalapeno, going back to yesterday's argument, or do you say a fajita or a fajita? I say a fajita and I say jalapenos, don't judge me. I'm not going to judge you. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just, you know what, it's fine. So we got some cucumber ribbons. Here we go, awesome. I had someone do this for me. Someone else made these ribbons. Oh, they look gorgeous. Because I, I, I do you not, fail? Cucumbers and I are not friends. So yeah, Gail did this for me. Gail knows that. Gail knows when the cucumber, Clem must exit the room and I'll come back something, and when it's done. Something Clem can't do in the kitchen. Who knew? Cucumber, absolutely. Okay, so there we go. Cucumbers down. Our halloumi, I would like it a little browner than that. So okay. I'm just going to take like sh take this one to show you like that's what it needs to look like. Okay. okay? Nice it. and crispy brown on all sides as well. Don't be just browning the one side. Nah, we need it all at all 360. Sides. I'm going to put that back. My hands are super clean. Okay, you take a bit of that, that ever put it on there. Take your, just like that. Your dressings. Nice. Just nice. like that. 
Well, Kim, you don't have to worry about any of that because they will have a recap after this. Oh. Yeah. So Willie's wants to reward you for eating healthy by giving Discovery Vitality members up to 25% cash back when they shop healthy food, vegetables and fruits. And this recipe will be definitely having you saving. So to get the ingredients list and link to the recipe, simply SMS EAT to 33650. SMSs are 1 Rand 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And if you missed any of the steps, here's a quick recap. Now, Juliet Maguire is one of South Africa's leading car journalists who has worked for some of the biggest motoring media outlets in the country. And she entered this male-dominated industry 11 years ago and is now a household name. Yep, and the journey for her has been a success, but hasn't always been easy. She's been faced with some gender discrimination more than the regular on a, base, on a daily basis. Um, this has made her feel even more determined to succeed, and it's all paying off. Hi. Hey, girl. Welcome. Gosh, it doesn't sound like you're speaking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Does it kind of feel surreal, though, yes. when you have now become so established in a certain industry, especially a male-dominated industry, such as the motor industry, and here you are flying the flag high <laughs> for us girls, us <laughs> ladies, looking amazing in that fabulous pink interior. How's that pink? Yeah. <laughs> All these interiors, do you, like, they, they're like match your outfits. <laughs> I know. That's one of my worst things, though, that we talk about with women. They're always like, should we match our car? I was like, no, we no, don't talk about no, women. we're talking about cars. cars. Yes, cars. For real. Yeah. What got you so interested in cars or developed your love for cars? Well, I hate to give him credit, but it was actually an ex-boyfriend of mine when I was in high school. <laughs> and uh, he was petrol head, obsessed, obsessed, Shout obsessed with cars. Shout the, out to the boyfriend. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so chuffed with this. He's still so jealous that I've got the career that I think he wanted. Wow. But, um, yeah, he sort of sparked the passion. And then... I went and studied journalism and then when I had to do an internship I decided to do it as I didn't know that there was such a thing as a motoring journalist anyway and then I got this opportunity to go to a magazine and do it and that was it I thought I'm not leaving I didn't leave I refused they got stuck with me wow. and 11 years later I'm still doing it it wow. is crazy that your career is 11 years old in such as we said a male dominated industry what challenges have you had to overcome and just kind of kept it pushing honey and delivered at the end of the day what are some of those challenges I think do you know I started I was so I was 24 when I started I was so terrified um, and I think it's that sort of lack of knowledge or experience that in any industry any yeah. male or female you sort of terrified anyway um, but I think what happens in this industry is that women aren't taken seriously um, generally this I mean I'm shame it sounds like I'm just gonna knock everybody every man or any publication but I'm actually not but there is this thing that I'll be considered a lifestyle journalist instead of a motoring journalist because I'm a female wow. and writing for female titles, which is just not the case. I've got more training than some of my male colleagues, etc. So mm. I think it's, do you know, we... There you with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even want to hear some of the jokes that you have to sit through. I don't even want to know. No, you, and do you know what? A, a very good colleague of mine said to me, what's worse is when you walk away. He said, <gasps> so the jokes that I have to deal with, you know, face to face, the minute I walk away, he says, then yeah. you get so mad because they're so, well, those are the sexual disgusting sort Absolutely. of comments. But I think, you know, the other sort of thing, when I... It's so fascinating to me, not within the industry, it's outside public's perception. You know, if I say I'm a motoring journalist, I often get, you know, how did you get into that? Mm. Whereas my male colleagues will get, you know, like, how did you get into that? Like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. I want to get into tone. it. It's the tone. It's all about the tone. <laughs> They're sort of too shocked and sort of don't understand it. And do you know, did you really like cars? You know, do you like cars still? Do you know anything about them? I just think, well, it, I'd be really good sort of 
imposter if I didn't 11 years later yeah, know anything. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, I, I know any career takes a lot of hard work behind the scenes and you have to con continuously develop your craft. But what are some of the, the, the rigorous throws that you've taken yourself through to make sure that you always know what you're talking about, that you're always on point? I think um, just research has been my biggest thing. Whenever I'm writing about a car, I'm so fixated on not messing up, yeah. calling it the wrong thing, giving the wrong kilowatts, giving the wrong newton meters, whatever. I just make sure that I get all my information correct. And then as well as sort of delving out into other things, so not just writing, but presenting and doing a whole bunch of other things, having car shows. Yeah. So I'm not like a one trick pony or one trick yeah. horse, whatever it is, mm -hmm. but being more than that. So then against my colleagues, and obviously generally mostly male, they're sort of specific on one thing. So it sort of just gives me the little bit of an edge above them. Mm. Like they're, none of them are sitting here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and what I find so amazing about you is that you bring that personality. You bring that humor <laughs> to each and every video, each and every review. You are walking away in stitches and just falling in love with you. So thank you so much for sharing your passion along with thank the rest you. of us. And you keep teaching me a lot more about cars. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now stay right where you are because after the break, we're cooking up some seriously delicious meatball and cheese fed cooks with clover olive pride plus beauty blogger Liesl Germanotta and Balissa show us how to make a DIY face mask to get you ready for summer. Yes, honey. So remember to tell us what type of beauty advice or tips you would like us to feature on Afternoon Express. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or just comment on our Facebook page. Dumelang Afrika Borwa. Spring is approaching with every new dawn, and so is Heritage Month. This Monday, the 3rd of September, we are ringing in both with Sesotho language radio station Lesedi FM. TV meets radio as the Monate Breakfast Show crew broadcast from our Cape Town penthouse to welcome the changing of the seasons. Join Mzanti's Feel Good Breakfast Show in celebrating our unique and diverse cultural landscape. That's Expresso, weekdays 6 to 9 a.m., only on SABC3. The stage is yours.
Olive Pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil to your table. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's finally Amakwinya Day. Yes, it's a thing. So join in the celebration by adding a touch of pride and fry up a batch to share with your family and friends. Whether you love it with jam or cheese or a traditional mince curry, these deep fried breads are essential to our shared identity as South Africans. And if you would love to try our spicy meatball and cheese stuffed version, simply SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650. SMSs are charged at 1 rand 50 each and no free SMSs apply. Clem. Every day should be a Maguinia day. Mm -hmm. I know, every day I should be. I feel like yeah. that. Okay. It's such beautiful comfort food. It's it my is. favorite comfort food. I think you can take any bun or any sort of bread and adapt like a Maguinia like mentality to it, which is exactly what we've done today. <laughs> so let me talk you through the dough. Very, very okay. easy. We made this earlier in the week already. So in here, I've got my sugar, salt, flour, and yeast. Mm -hmm. Basic Maguinia um, dough recipe. There's nothing basic about it. Let me just drop the top. Just like that, and then we've got some water. Again, feel the water. Uh, it's room temperature. Room temperature. A little warmer than room temperature, okay. and that's important, because okay. that way you're gonna activate your yeast. It's gonna start doing its thing. It's gonna start like rising exactly what you want. Give it a good mix, put it aside, let it rise, mm -hmm. and you get a beautifully soft dough just like this. So, it let's get this cooking. Tender. Yeah, Ooh. it is so tender. And yeah. that's exactly what you're looking for. I heard um, earlier on when we were interviewing Mama Miriam saying mm -hmm. that she puts butter in her in her dough. You know what I like doing? I like adding a little bit of olive pride to my dough. It's something about the fat that goes into your yeah. dough. Use butter, use olive pride, get that in there. In there, that's all okay. You need. Can okay. I get a little bit of that olive pride? Absolutely. Quick tip, if your oil gets too hot before you start frying, normally what people do is they turn down the temperature and they just wait. Oh. It takes a little too long. So what I like doing is I like to add a little- Add more oil. Add a little more oil, that immediately drops down the temperature of the oil and it just brings it back to temperature. Okay. Perfect, okay. so let's just get that right over there. Take your dough, Oops. there we go. I was told, don't cut my dough, I have to do it by hand. You have to grab hand it. By hand. So just like that, keep I it rough. I just love feeling it, it feels yeah. so soft. It's so good. And, and it smells amazing, even raw, yeah. you know. Yeah. So there we go, add it to your oil. Let it do its thing, it's sizzling nicely. Okay. In a different method, normally you deep fry. Oh, so you're Maguinia. not deep frying it, no, yeah. We're gonna do a different method, it's called the steaming method. Okay. So you're adding okay. it to the oil, but now it's gonna start cooking from the bottom. We're gonna put the lid on, so there's moisture in that dough right now. I gonna, see. You see? So it's gonna steam as it fries, making nice and fluffy inside. I love this method because um, love that cooking method. anything in such a lot of oil makes me really nervous. Mm -hmm. So you feel yeah. a bit comfort more, better with that one? Yeah, I feel a cool. little bit healthier, like 2% healthier. 2% healthier? Yeah. Hey, okay, 2% <laughs> is something. So I've got these little fricadels. It's already be seasoned. I like them because normally mints, they have to season it, add the extra stuff. Yes. Fricadels done already. Nice amount of fat in there as well. So I press it down. So you're putting them in like muffin pans. So you get like individual, perfectly sized little meat. You're so clever. I try, I try. Then, this is a homemade tomato sauce, but I mean, you can buy any spicy tomato sauce. Okay. It's all about the convenience and how you're going to celebrate Maguinia Day. And you can quickly blend a raw one. You absolutely That's can. That's my thing now, is I blend my, my tomato sauce. Okay, uh -huh. cool. Cheese. Any okay. type that you like. We're going with a nice mature cheddar. This goes to the oven. Right. You can grab those little ones on the side for me. And they come out looking like this. They come out looking just like that. Look at this, it's delicious. It's gonna be my snack right now. Okay. Fill the maguinia, put a skewer in it, make everyone happy and serve oh, them one. So cute, it looks like a little English muffin. It, you know what? I love it. They cousins, pretty much. <laughs> Basically. Maguinia the maguinia cousin. <laughs> so remember to SMS the keyword clover 233650 to get this recipe sent to your device. SMSs are one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And in case you missed it, here's a recap of all the steps.
Made with love by Clover. It's definitely Amagwenya time after the show oh, is over. Definitely. <laughs> now on Afternoon Express, we're all about us ladies sticking together and sharing beauty tips and tricks that will enhance our beauty. As we approach the spring season, your skin has to be in tip top shape. So I have prepared some essential face masks that will revitalize and hydrate your skin. Mm. Now joining me to impart these pearls of wisdom is Liesl Germanotta, a fashion and beauty and lifestyle blogger. Girl, what don't you do? <laughs> All of the above. All of the above. I love that because me and you, we can get along. Yes, definitely. I'm all about the beauty and everyone looking and feeling their absolute all best. All about self-care. All about self-care. Self-care, looking after yourself. Amen. Yeah. You're your so number one. You've prepared for us two amazing face oh. masks. The ripe banana face mask. And then we'll also just be diving into the green tea mint yes. face mask. Okay, first things first. Grape. What happens, why, and how does this help? Okay, we can start off with the mint green tea mask. Okay. Mint is perfect for revitalizing your skin. And because of the antioxidants within yeah. the tea, it helps with clearing up your skin pores. Mm. And it can also be used as anti-inflammatory. Wow. Yes, which leaves you with clear and soft skin. Amazing, that's what yeah. I need, honey. So after we, so we have to boil. So you prepare the tea as normal. Okay. And then you let it, um, put it to the side, let it cool down. Mm. Then what I like to do, you can either dip the cotton, round cotton wool pads into the tea, okay. or you can pour it over. Oh, okay, so let's pour the tea out. It seems like it's cooled down quite enough. Perfectly. Perfectly. And then you can dip, not to sog, so I would do that. Okay. And then, should we try a new? Are you ready? Honey, put it on let's me. Let's do it. So I'm what should I do? Get, I'm trying to get So basically, ready. you can either dab like this, okay. or you can, Sit back, relax, leave it on your face for five minutes. With the cotton buds With on the, my face? Yes, exactly. I like to do it in my T-zones. Okay. And under my eye. Okay. So... I can actually feel that freshness of the mint already coming out yes. and just opening up those pores. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, love it. So after five minutes, rinse with cold water. Uh -huh. And you're not just revitalizing your skin, you're revitalizing your mind because you're taking five minutes just to... Take and that beauty step, and that's exactly that's what so you crucial for our mothers, our working, working moms, women, students, students, girls like us. You know, yeah. That five minutes means so much. Perfect. So, perfect. Yeah. So then that just needs five minutes. Then I rinse it off, and then With I'm cold good water. to go. With and cold water. Good to go. Moisturize. As per normal, moisturize your skin. Moisturizing is very important. Okay. And then Perfect. with our banana moss, banana is one of my like, favorite fruits. I love <laughs> bananas, so yummy. And what I like about both ingredients is that these are things that you find in your pantry exactly. anyway. Exactly, it's cost effective, mm. it's easy to make. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take yes. one ripe banana, mash, we've mashed it already, thanks so much, whoever did that. Pleasure, <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> are you taking credit? It's all me girl, it's all me. And then we're just gonna apply this to, up to the face. Can I use my fingers? Go are ahead you? Okay, girl. Cool. I just... Yeah, take as much as you need. Bit on the side, and you can leave this on for 15 minutes and rinse with cold water. And bananas are full on, I don't want your face, you can't be on. No problem. <laughs> uh -huh. No, it's okay. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, I want, I want this to work, <laughs> honey, yes. And bananas are full of potassium, which helps to clear your skin pores, and leaves, it helps with dry skin as well. So it will leave your skin moisturized and hydrated. Mm. And some people go as far as to call bananas, Mother Nature's low-cost Botox. So Love I'm here that. for that. I'm here for all of that. Thank you so much for helping us. And thank you, know, you for having sticking me. Sticking by my side, one thing that we have to let every woman know that we celebrate you just as you are beautiful, bright, in any shape, form, or and shade. Curve. Yeah. And curve, exactly. So if you have issues, we're here to help you, girl, but we want to celebrate you just as you are. Now, beauty on a budget, that's totally my vibe. If you have any DIY beauty hacks of your own or any trouble areas that you would like some help with, let us know just by tweeting us at Afternoon Chat using our official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. We love to keep the conversation open and going on social media. And who knows, maybe we'll be sharing your beauty wisdom in the, li in the loft live. Now, fun. after Right? Now after the break, we'll be pe preparing a mouth-watering muesli rusk berry cheesecake. Mm. Plus, we're joined by stylist and personal shopper Siavuya Dondolo, who, who gives his take on the timeless ways of styling an epic tea. Olive Pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil tea on table. Made with love by Clover.
Welcome back. We're back in the kitchen. When it comes to Baker's Good Morning Rusks, there's only one way to have them in as many different recipes as possible. And Clem has one that will have everyone begging for more. Muesli Rusk Berry Cheesecake Plus. It's quick, easy, and just as delicious as it sounds. Clem, I'm just so amazed at how many ways that you come up with. To well, have I'm surprised you next week as well. Rusks. Next week, I'm going to try something, something savory with it. Really? Like, it's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious, I promise you. But Amazing. let's talk about this cheesecake. Easiest cheesecake you've ever made and the simplest ingredients ever. Okay. You've got some cream cheese in front of you over cream here. Cheese. I love I'm cream gonna, cheese. We love cream cheese. Okay. Sugar going in. I think that's enough. Cool. You're going to get a mix for me. Then I'm going to start off with my music rusk. It's really delicious. It's got that sunflower seeds in there. It's got sesame seeds in there. Super nutty. It's got the Very berries healthy. in as well. The berries in there give it like the nice little Ooh. tan. So we're going to accentuate the flavors of the berry by actually adding some more berries to the some mixture. Some more berries. Can I add? Like you a good? mixed berry mixture. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've crushed these. Yeah, it's actually the frozen pack, which I wanted to talk about. It's berry season right now, but if you can't get them fresh, buy the frozen one. Absolutely, yeah. the flavors are great. They're just Go as good. Yeah. Just as good. Yeah, so our baker's biscuits, here we go. I've just blended them slightly. We're going to make a cheesecake base. Right. Just using this and a little bit of butter. Here we go. Okay. Uh-huh. Lovely. You winning? You happy? I'm winning. I'm winning. Now, I'm loving this. Over here, it looks like we've got some normal water, but actually some gelatine. Gelatine, that just okay. just softened and then bloomed in the water. And that's going to actually set our cheesecake. So you can Oof. give that a mix again for me. Yummy. All right. It smells amazing. It smells so good. You happy? You yeah. liking? You winning? Yes, yeah, I cool. am. So here's our base. Again, like so I'm you want to make sure that your, your consistency is quite runny. Yes, because it's going to sit in the fridge. So as you see, it's the simplest ingredients ever. Huh? But if you like missed out any of the ingredients that we just used, it's so easy. Just SMS Bakers to 33650. We'll send you the link. We'll send you the ingredients. We'll send Bakers you my cell phone number. And then you just Baker. call me. And, no, don't. we're not going to send you my cell phone number. Did you just say yes? <laughs> we are not going to send anyone my cell phone number. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's a Miss Baker to double three six five zero. Okay. There we go. Pack it in there. And that's the base. And it actually firms up nicely because of the butter. And because uh, it of all just those comes together nicely. So well. Pack it in, pack it in. I love and it. And then if I can ask you to yes. pour it over the, bis the biscuits for me. Uh, oh, biscuits. Our uh, um, rusks. Uh-huh. You ready? Okay. Good for you. Gently, right? So Gently. It so you like... don't want to break up the crumb that we have yeah, there already. Yeah, so it doesn't like burrow mm. into the crumbs. Yeah. So that goes into the fridge. Now it sets up nicely. Okay. Then what you do is you keep your easy store containers that come with the baker's rusks and you pack a nice lunch for someone you care tomorrow. I know, a little I know, wedge I of cheese containers. Everybody's happy. I, I've got them everywhere now. It's a true story. You put everything in them. There's so everything. much you can store in these. Especially everything. those packets that you can't close again. Back in there. Done. So, um, I see you use cling wrap. Important, huh? Helps you so much to get the cheesecake out okay. once it's set. And okay, what I like to perfect. do, I like to top it with a few, a few more fresh berries. You're looking like a pro. Uh, yeah, you've, you've trained me. I'm done. Yeah, I need to be your sous chef. <laughs> so, good, <laughs> good morning is something that we all say differently. We found out from some of our favorite celebs how they say good morning. I say good morning like this. Morning! Ah, it's early. I say good morning like this. Good morning! Ow. I say good morning and I have to say good morning to a lot of people every day. I say good morning, you beauties. I say good morning like this. Morning! <laughs> good morning. What? Hello. Thank you, Thank you. I say good morning like this. Good morning. Let's talk later. Good morning. Buenos dias. Hola. Um, and things like that. And then I say I love you. And then I have a rusk because I need a rusk in the morning. <laughs> I say good morning. Oh, like, mm, like this. Morning, sweetheart. Yeah, the way I say good morning is mons, because I just don't have time to say the whole word. I, I, I don't have time. Is, is that mons with the, with the R or without the R? Because the R kind of makes it longer. True, eh? True. <laughs> Mo. It's, it's just mons. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on whether he's in America. Um, 
Well, I say, I say good morning normally firstly to my wife when I have a cup of coffee in the hand. So I say, Goeie morgen, my son's kind. Here's your coffee. Uh, and then, hopelijk raak ze wakker, eventueel. <laughs> the way I say good morning is, uh, is with a bit of a melody. Mm. Morning. Nice. Did you hear it? Beautiful. Say it again, say it again, say it again, again. No, yeah, you want to steal my song. <laughs> no, I've said it once. <laughs> There's a new way to say good morning. Discover new Baker's Good Morning Rusks in three delicious flavors, now available in a resealable container. Now, the basic T-shirt is a trend that will never go out of style and is a staple item in most wardrobes. And today, we want to help you find a fun, sexy and formal ways of rocking these tees. And to help me do that, I have called on help from my stylist friend to the stars, honey. Yes, it's Siavuya Dondolo. Hey, girl. Hi, how, how you are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. You're looking thank so you. amazing. You? And we need to already start thank by breaking you. this down. You have worked with amazing people on amazing platforms, just like our very own SABC3's top billing. Oh, yes. But how did this journey start for you? Because I know you weren't always going to be a stylist. Well, thank you for having me on the show, firstly. And then coming to the main fact of how the journey began, I've always wanted to be in fashion. But for me, I never knew where I did fit in, into fashion. All I knew is either you're a model you're a photographer or designer, and none of them were part of my journey. So I had to find a career counselor to teach me where I needed to be in my life. So then I did architecture a bit, because now top billing was like my main inspiration of all those beautiful houses I get to work with now. So at that time, I thought that's where I needed to be. But then I dropped out because now the passion wasn't there anymore. So my career counselor gave me enough information to help me find my niche and to know where I need to be. Then I became a buyer's assistant first. That's where I learned that niche of where I need to be in fashion. Range build and just putting outfits together basically. So then I knew that now I'm more of a visual person yes. and this is where my journey is. So when I reached out to Top Billing, all I did was just send out an email and I poured my heart out to the team. Wow. And they heard me and they understood where I come from and where I need to be. Wow. So when they gave me my first task, and that was to dress Jeannie D. Woo! And I was like, my goodness, I watched this lady on TV each and every time. So now I get to actually work with her. So I was like, they were giving me the list of designers and brands that I could work with. So I had to just hustle and find a way to make sure that I built a bond with the designers mm. and make sure that I can do the job. And so they told me, if you can do it, then go for it. And I did it. Wow. Hallelujah. So and trust history, me, we yeah. know Jeannie yeah. D is our sister on the show. Oh, and yeah. she takes her looks very seriously. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. on even on making her look even better. But now let me tell you, on that first assignment that I had to do with her, right? I was meant to dress her, but now there was a Santana concert at the Greenpoint Stadium. So everything is ready, all the gowns are ready, but now we ended up not being able to at least dress her for that. But everything was there. Wow. So then the main thing that happened is that we had to reshoot that whole look. But then Lorna was then my first assignment from that situation. Incredible, yeah. incredible. Well, so you sound like a really hard worker. And you also oh, you yes. sound like you know yourself really well, which, which oh, cuts yeah. the journey short because or, or the hustle gets more fluid because now mm. you know exactly what you're going for. Now, in exactly. terms of us talking about the basic tees today, oh, everybody yeah. needs a basic tee in their T-shirt. In fact, in oh, fact yes. a couple. I, mm. I think I've collected like at least like 20 basic white tees in my cupboard. Yeah. But it's, it's interesting for me how it's, it's, you, you need to figure out, do you want a V-neck? Do you want a round neck? Do you mm. want it to be slightly fitting? What, do you, what can you advise us about buying the perfect tees? Well, the perfect tee is always a staple in each and every closet. Like you did say, you have mm. more than one option. Yeah. So V-necks are always in, but like the best thing I can say for this coming season, statement tees are the best. Mm. Because a plain white one will definitely just blend into your look if you're wearing a blazer or you're wearing a tracksuit top, depending on what you're wearing. But a statement one always just gives you that individual look altogether. So let's say you're going out to the mall with your girls, it yeah. will give you a little bit of a pop. A little statement about what expresses your individual style, you know? Wow. So you always need to have a bit of... Um, so a statement T would be one with some... A slogan. A, a slogan, slogan, like influencer. For example, let's say, yeah, like influencer. I mean, by the way, I am nowhere close to an influencer, but I just What's loved you? the amazing glam that this simple basic T gets. Uh -huh. So you've styled some looks for us oh, to yes, go I through have. and different ways of making a mm -hmm. T stand out in your different environment. Definitely. This so lady now, looks like she's about to slay, oh, yes. slay in the office. 
So that first look, we were trying to make sure that now we have different occasions for each and every look. So we have a tea look, but now the one that we have for now is like a corporate look for the beginning section of it. So how you can play with that. So from the boardroom, how do you actually move your look and change it to a nice cocktail evening vibe? Mm. Or a night out with a hubby? So making sure that now you can play with it, be formal in the evening, in the afternoon, in the morning, afternoon, then you can just play around with it. And the detail on it makes it more playful once you take off the blazer. Mm. And you can see how she's rocking that afro. She's a natural girl and she makes it awesome and she owns it. And she truly makes this look work. I love the flirtiness of the shirt. Yes. It's not as formal as that, you know, suit that mm. you normally see, that power suit that women rock. Yeah. But I love it. And let's see what we've got coming would up you, next. Would you advise to wear accessories with the tee? I mean, with that particular shirt for, per se, would you then open it up more and then let the accessory hang a bit lower down? Well, in this case, I would never want this to really, for the second look, right? Yes. For the second look, I would definitely say play with accessories because now this is like a yacht themed look. Yeah. Yes. So you're thinking like of a Havana vibe, you know, just a nice sundown vibe, resort look. Because now this is actually a skirt. But now oh, wow. at the first glance of it, you think that it's actually like a pair of shorts. Yes. So now with her, it's a playful look where you can have shades on that, that kimono has a bit of floral detail, that neck piece has a bit of rose gold detail in it, so it gives that whole playful vibe. And she looks rich. And she looks hella rich, and yeah. I love that. And she is. This is very <laughs> affordable looks. And the t-shirts, oh, yes. it doesn't have to be an a, mil a million rand t-shirt, exactly. just as long as it's good quality. I feel like it's brilliant. Oh, this Fashion. look is amazing. Love this. Now, yes, that's actually one of my favorite looks altogether, because in the, in the makeup room at the back, when we're getting ready, what I loved about it is that when I laid out the outfits on the, on the on yeah, the, table, the table, trying to make sure that I just play around with them all together. I love the fact that now you can tie a knot on the side because now it's a basic white tee. Yes. There is a bit of statement and there is a bit of detail you can add to it. The rip and repair detail on the jeans as well gives it a bit of character because I themed each and every look. So now there was a yacht, a corporate uh -huh. vibe to a cocktail vibe. Now this one is like a girl's night out. Mm, you can yeah. have popcorn yeah. and then have drinks afterwards with the girls. So I added a bit of bracelets and a bit of earring popping thing going on with the girls. I see. To make sure she looks amazing as yeah. well with that. Yeah. Hoops on a basic tee always work and I also just love that you can have a mm. popping lip whenever you're doing a white tee. It's, mm. it's really, really and some nice. People, and that. sorry for cutting. So some people actually forget, I'm getting too excited now. Yeah. <laughs> well, some people forget that now with that, you actually need to always make sure you blend everything together and lip and makeup actually are an accessory on its own yes, as well. Yes, they are, yeah, right? Definitely. I love it. And we, that you is, need to stay. Yes, I was going to say, yeah. that's why okay. I keep you, you around. <laughs> <laughs> and you can I'm here, stay. Here, here, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do hit us up on social media and tell us what type of beauty advice or tips you'd like us to feature um, on Afternoon Express. Use our hashtag hashtag Afternoon Express. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag. And uh, we also have a Facebook page. And if you're on Facebook, leave us a post. And after the break, we continue the chat with all our guests.
Welcome back from the ad break. You're tuned into Afternoon Express on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, we're sitting with two powerhouses who are slaying in their lanes. Unexpectedly so for some. You guys are doing amazing work in the fashion and motor industries. But some people could be surprised. A beautiful blonde haired bombshell behind the wheel of a car and this amazing, strong gentleman. But choosing a stronger a decision by sticking with what he wants, which is fashion and not architecture, for example. Mm. How do you guys keep it together? You guys seem like you're doing amazingly well that besides what anyone says, what anyone does, you're kind of doing your own thing. I think, uh, well, for me, it's um, sort of getting to the point where there's a self-belief. I, I don't have it entirely yet. Um, I suppose that is the challenge and I keep going because the minute that I can just realize that the other critics, it's, it's not them. I'm my biggest critic. doesn't matter about sort of chauvinism or any sexism or anything in the industry. I'm still going to think I'm... Me, I need to be better mm. and I'm sure you probably have the same sort of thing. Definitely. So self-belief is what actually led me to where I am at the moment because had I not sent that email out... So firstly, the buying assistant role that came out, it taught me a lot in the three years that I was in it. And had I not sent that email out to reach out to the show to tell them this has always been something I want to do, and I didn't tell anyone about it. So it meant for me that now by reaching out to that, because someone else would laugh at me and say, you top yeah. billion. But for me to just take mm -hmm. that step and believe in myself to do that, that allowed me to, that opened doors for me. And one I'm here. One of the best things I ever heard was yeah. um, the saying that self-belief is a, is a superpower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it and yeah. can actually propel you to do really amazing things. Mm. You know what mm. I love about your careers as well is that they're, they're unconventional in that you, you, they're the careers you want. It's, mm. You're not slotting in and saying, well, I get to do this one little thing that I love and the rest of it is stuff that I, I just have to Pay put up bills. with. But it's mm. basically everything that you love and yeah. you've got to work mm. to play, essentially. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's a blessing. It and is, and congratulations on playing. Keep playing. We are <laughs> keeping a very close eye as the Afternoon Express family because we know that yeah. you're about to do amazing things as being trendsetters in your relevant industries. And congratulations. And thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you. you for yes. us. <laughs> Rock on. So join us again tomorrow as we wrap up the week with music group Durban Knights, who are famous for their hit single, Shumaya. We also chat to Tony Stewart, a South African poet, performer, and spoken word educator, whose work has been published in anthologies journals and non-fiction books locally and abroad. Thank you so much for joining us today and uh, have a great evening. God bless you. Enjoy those Fed Cooks. Happy Fed Cook Day. And happy eating. <laughs> <laughs>